Hey, how's it going, my loves? Thank you for stopping by. And those of you guys who are here for the first time, welcome. And if you would like to see more vegan recipes like what you're gonna see today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you will be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, possibly Thursday, and Friday whenever I do a live stream Q&A chit chat sort of thing. So don't miss out if you like this video, don't forget to do that. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a breakfast burrito. I'm the type of person who loves a hearty breakfast. For the most part, I, I wake up pretty early and then I tend to eat my breakfast later, which makes me super hungry. Probably shouldn't do that, but then I'm craving like a really hearty breakfast. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make today. Let's get veggie. So we're gonna start off by adding in to a pan. This is a non-stick pan. You want to use a non-stick pan. I always like to use a non-stick pan when I'm making tofu, especially because I like to get it like to the really dry point. Um, and all I'm doing here is crumbling up half a 16 ounce block of tofu into my pan. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. Yes, my hands are clean. I know someone's going to be like, ew, but don't worry. My hands are clean. All right. So and you're not gonna eat it anyway, so. <laughs> and once our tofu is nice and crumbled up, all I'm doing is, I use, I like to use this like flat kind of spatula uh, because it helps me kind of like flatten the tofu down. And this is actually on high. So I like to keep it on high, which is why I like to use a very non-stick type of uh, uh, pan so it doesn't stick because I'm pressing it down. And that's because of the texture and I figured out that if I press it and get as much of that liquid out of the tofu, then I actually kind of love it, as weird as that sounds, because I've said I hate tofu and I don't like tofu so many times, but I've come to really enjoy tofu as long as I pr either press it before I cook it, dry it really good, or just kind of like press out the liquid as much as I can while it's cooking. And at this point, I don't see any more liquid coming out, which is a good thing, which is another reason why we have it on high because as you squeeze it, the water or the liquid from the tofu is actually gonna evaporate. So, now that we have our tofu nice and dry, I'm gonna add in our spices, and we have a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of sasson. It's a Latin seasoning that adds color, and loads of flavor, super yummy. I make my own. Um, I'll actually leave the recipe down below. Next, I'm gonna add in just a cracking of black pepper. I say just a cracking, but I really, really enjoy black pepper, so I'm gonna go kinda crazy with it. You don't have to. Now that I have that in there, I'm gonna toss in about half a teaspoon of soy sauce. So I don't wanna use salt in this, but I actually like to use soy sauce because the soy sauce really helps bring out the flavor, or like really kind of uh, complements the flavor of the tofu. So we have some of the soy sauce in there, and I've just moved the tofu mixture, or a tofu scramble, over to the side. I'm adding a bit of oil, because I'm going to stir fry a little bit of veggies, a little lot of bit of veggies. I have onion and pepper. The full link, the full recipe will be linked down below. And I'm actually gonna add half a cup of like uh, cubed potatoes, and this is just leftover cubed potatoes from dinner last night that I just tossed in there to make it a little more hearty. You can use hash browns or tater tots, like frozen tater tots, or even like frozen uh, french fries uh, cut into little pieces, which is, I always add uh, either tater tots or hash browns into my tofu scramble. For the most part, it makes it a lot more hearty and the kids love it. And yeah, so, that is it for our filling. All right, so now we assemble this thing. So I'm, I'm so hungry right now, and I'm actually depending on this as my hearty breakfast for today. And I know Chris is also waiting for his portion of the breakfast. So I am just laying out some lettuce into or onto some wheat uh, soft taco tortillas. And normally for regular tacos, I only like corn but this is a breakfast tortilla so it's kind of like it's more or less like a breakfast burrito however i feel like breakfast burritos or burritos in general have so much of the dough like so much of the 
actual wrap is like way too much for me and I don't like it. So that's why I am doing it on a taco, on a taco uh, tortilla instead. So here it is and put it on our second little guy here. It smells so yummy, you guys. I'm so ready to dig into this. Yeah, it's a beautiful mess. <laughs> Next, I'm just adding some avocado onto um, our taco here. My avocado is on its last leg. <laughs> so some of it is like brown and you know the whole avocado struggle. Uh, it's like every time you open up an avocado, it's a surprise. It's like, oh, are you gonna be good? It feels good, looks good. Surprise, I got black spots everywhere. <laughs> so there you have it, you guys. Delicious, yummy breakfast tacos. All right, guys, so it's time for the taste test cam. And you're probably seeing me put ketchup and wondering what is she doing? And truth is, I love my tofu scramble with ketchup. There's, you know, that's just no way around it. So here we go, taste test. And one, two, three, no, is it three, two, one? Mmm. Oh, yeah. This stuff is so, so good. You guys have to try it. If you make it for breakfast, you can make it also for lunch. You could even make it for dinner if that's what floats your boat. So, if you're watching still, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram using the hashtag Team Veggie Rolls. If you make this recipe or any of my other recipes, I would love to see what you made, and I would love to know what you think about it. I will talk to you guys very soon. I love you all. Bye.